Well, the future of senior housing, in our opinion, is really all about lifestyle. And we started this company 16 years ago. Uh, at the time that we started it, many seniors associated senior housing with nothing more than skilled nursing care and really end of life decisions. And what they totally missed in that equation is how important senior housing can be in keeping seniors young, active, and engaged. And in many ways, the evolution has tracked the decision on Merrill Garden's part to focus on building housing that is residential in orientation and yet licensed to be able to provide care as an individual senior may need care. Uh, some of the characteristics that orient today to lifestyle are such situations as dining uh, at any time uh, during the day rather than structured meal hours. Uh, I think the ability to engage seniors in both wellness and activities that stimulate them uh, and keep them really in control of their own choices of how they live their life every day in senior housing. While at the same time we have many of the traditional concepts of 24-hour staffing, uh, really transportation, um, and lack of maintenance of uh, home or, uh, or really uh, the kind of traditional challenges that a senior living alone or living in their own home may face. Well, I, I would rely on a couple of pieces of my own experience to draw the assessment that today is the ideal time for seniors to be planning for the future. I appreciate and understand a lot of uh, the concerns and I think the very real pain at times that is experienced in a deep recession like we have today. But really in the seeds of that recession, seniors can find an opportunity for the future. And that is probably what I am most concerned about uh, for today's senior population. As an industry, we really only provide housing for about 9.6% of the U.S. seniors today. Even though every year we see more seniors entering the marketplace considering senior housing, all this senior housing has to be built. And today, when you look at the occupancies in senior housing, even in this recession, uh, on average, most senior operators are, have experience, or are experiencing a 90% occupancy in their, uh, in their portfolio of senior housing communities. When you look at the number of seniors who are intentionally deferring their decision to consider senior housing today, uh, and you take into account the fact that no senior housing is being built today, and that all this senior housing to, to serve growing demand needs to be constructed, really in the next 12 to 24 months, uh, occupancies are going to rebound in senior housing to the point where a senior looking, you know, 18 to 24 months from now is not going to be able to find the kind of apartment they want in the community that they want. And so those seniors who are planning today and thinking about the future, really who take advantage of the current market conditions where they can find what they're looking for in the way of an apartment to make the kind of choice that they want in what community they live in are the ones that are going to benefit from today's environment. I think it's fair to say that in the next five years, seniors will not find a better market than today that gives them the kind of choice that they want, as well as to take advantage of the conditions today to structure the kind of financial arrangement they would like to have with a senior housing provider. So today is the best time that they will have in the next five years to consider making that change and that shift to senior housing. And we hope they do that because it, the benefit will be tremendous to them. Well, the way we deal with advising seniors or explaining the opportunity uh, in the housing market today is what a factor that we really believe 
is at play uh, for these seniors, and that is that any senior who looks at what their house might have been worth in their own mind five to six years ago will find that that house today, even in today's markets, is worth at least that and probably more. The seniors that weigh their decision based on what their home might have been worth 12 months ago are the ones that are likely to be caught in the equation that real estate is not likely to bounce back uh, in the near term the way they saw it for the last three or four years. And that if they're really able to look at their investment in their home and realize what they purchased that home for and what that home is worth even in today's market, they will find in that analysis and in that thought process an opportunity to sell their home uh, and to make that transition into senior housing. But if they really want to wait until housing values rebound, what they're going to find is they may be waiting four, five, or six years in most of the markets around the country today. Well, I think we're particularly excited about the changes we're seeing in the evolution of senior housing. When we started uh, 16 years ago, senior housing was largely designed uh, along the lines of care orientation rather than what we see in today's designs. Today, a senior who comes to senior housing makes a choice, really, between whether they're interested in a two-bedroom apartment, a one-bedroom apartment, in many situations, a cottage, which is designed uh, for the campus that they may be considering. And there's always uh, some options on studio apartments as well. But a senior really has a choice. And the evolution that we've seen has been that as we've gotten to know the seniors better in the industry, we've really seen uh, the desire on their part to create a residential environment, really more of what they're accustomed to in their own home as they, as they experience it today. So the apartments have gotten larger. All of our apartments, whether it's a two bedroom or a studio apartment, has a full kitchen in spite of the fact that, that we are there and can serve them meals from one meal a day to three meals a day, depending on their choice. They still have the choice to cook for themselves. A lot of the other uh, evolutions really track the same kind of concept of allowing a senior to make a transition from their own home and then continue to live their life as they're accustomed to. So we have everything from uh, wine bistros and in today's uh, communities that we're building to uh, libraries, game rooms. Uh, we even have situations where uh, we have movie theaters uh, in a senior community. But it really is all about, in terms of of the evolution. It's really all about creating an environment where they don't have to change and adapt their life to live in senior housing. Instead, we have adapted and evolved the model of senior housing to allow them to continue to live their life both with choice and independence in terms of their selection of a senior housing provider.